Not more than one test has been carried out in Kogin State since the outbreak of the coronavirus in Nigeria on February 27. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control reports that as of May 18, 35,983 tests have been carried out across the country, while 5,959 have been confirmed positive for the virus. According to the NCDC update on the COVID-19 outbreak in the country, which was made available on its website, Kogi recorded the lowest number of tests with no confirmed cases. Joining us live is the Kogi State Commissioner for Information, Kingsley Farmer. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, good afternoon. And thank you for joining us. Thank you. In spite of the worldwide spread of COVID-19, why do you think of Nobello is taking the stand that the disease is more political and economic expectation rather than the reality of it? Um, I think it's uh, the conviction of the state government that uh, will concentrate on uh, the medical aspect of COVID-19 to ensure that our people uh, are safe from the spread of the virus. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not in controversial. I think it's a very direct statement uh, by the government. That's why Kogi government believe that COVID-19 is being exaggerated. It is on record that Kogi State has established a state-of-the-art isolation center. Now, why, why establish an isolation center for something you, you don't believe in? We never said uh, we do not believe uh, COVID-19 uh, is real. COVID-19 is real, of course. Uh, what we are trying to say is that uh, it is not as serious as it is uh, being hyped around the world. And uh, we should be able to manage uh, the pandemic alongside with our economy. Uh, so that people will not die of hunger. That has always been our, our position. We are not saying uh, COVID-19 uh, do, does not exist at all. Now, we've also read on various platforms that about 111 persons have been tested. Where are the testing centers in Kogi State? We have our testing centers in our what we call isolation and containment centers. To us, isolation center is a very, um, it's a very harsh and uh, dehumanizing word. So we call uh, those centers containment centers to ensure that the virus does not spread into the state. So at, at those centers, we have our test kits uh, for testing people. And our test kit uh, was procured from one of the best uh, vendors in the world, and the result comes out in 30 minutes. So uh, if uh, NCDC is not having those records in, in their uh, daily briefings, uh, it does not affect what we are doing here as a government and as a state. We ensure that people who fall uh, within the criteria for tests uh, get tested. Now, Kogi State actually is bounded by about 10 states, and some critics have said that the state is sitting on a time bomb by not closing borders. What's your reaction on this? There is no time bomb here. They talked about this time bomb uh, five weeks ago and said that in the next two weeks then, uh, there was going to be uh, an explosion. But five weeks down the line, we are still very safe in the state. If you go to our, uh, our federal medical center and specialist hospitals, you discover that the number of patients treated between September to December 2019 uh, has, is, was, uh, were quite higher than the number of patients that have been treated between uh, January to April this year. That shows that we are even having a drop. So uh, there is no time bomb anywhere. I think uh, in the next two weeks, we'll see what they will say again. We are managing the situation. We have experience in managing the epidemics. We have done very well in the past, and we are still doing very well today. Our health surveillance uh, officers in all the 239 wards in the state are doing very well. And the Ministry of Health is managing the situation um, excellent. The NCDC has said that the absence of confirmed case or cases in the state was a result of the state not subjecting people to enough testing at all. What is the true position of things right now in Kogi State? We are not going to do an issue with the NCDC. Uh, but we just uh, uh, state the fact. We've been testing those who fall within the criteria that should be tested. Uh, as at, if, as, as at um, uh, maybe uh, May um, 17th, we've tested 111 people and all tested negative. We are, we are very sure the virus is not in the state and we are working to ensure it does not come to the state. Now, finally, do you agree that the federal government should relax the nationwide lockdown and allow everyone to go about their normal duties, even though COVID-19 have not shown any sign of slowing down? That has always been the position of uh, the governor of Kogi State, Alhaji Ahaya Bello, uh, that uh, we, we cannot continue to lock people down uh, from, uh, uh, from, from commercial activities and all that. That is hurting our economy and our economy is bleeding. 
Uh, we could see that as it's affecting most states now. Even most state government now cannot pay salaries because they are not generating enough IGR and the, and, and the allocation to the state has drastically dropped. So this is hurting the economy and uh, it's hurting hope, it's, it's breeding hunger. And that is why uh, we, we feel that we can live with it. We lived with, uh, with, with others in the past, HIV, um, uh, TB and all that. So we can live with this and get our economy uh, running again and rebound our economy so that hunger will not kill the people. Kogi State Commissioner for Information, Mr. Kingsley Fowler, thank you for your time and for your contribution on the news.